things that you know we're getting from this morning this afternoon's conference. This morning conference was about the uh, the the energy crisis, the price of oil. This the afternoon conference, which started about four o'clock, four four thirty. They were talking about uh, one of the American delegates. I I wasn't told who exactly it was. Was talking about the uh, <clears throat> the concern that the American citizens have had with the with, you know with the housing prices going down, so they're not investing that money. So what they needed to do is they needed to create the illusion that everything is going well. So what they're going to do over the next year, year and a half, is to bring the market back up to 1998, 1999 levels. They're going to get all the suckers to invest whatever little money they have left over, <clears throat> and that's when they're going to make the economy bottom drop out. They need to destroy the economy because as we're running out of oil, when people don't travel, at least that's what they're saying, when people don't travel, when people don't have money, they don't travel, they don't spend any money, which means you don't waste a lot of uh, 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 oil and natural gas. That's the afternoon. So how does this source, I mean, just ballpark, I mean, so, so you have the sources. Of well, actually, there are two people uh, who are members of the Bilderberg Club. It's actually members. They're members of the Bilderberg Club, the Bilderberg Club who are for years and years and years have been going and participating in all the conversations. They've always been dead on, always. And last year they said the oil prices are going to go up to 150. At the time it was 39, it went up to 76, yeah. basically doubled. Yeah. If it doubles again, it's going to be back to where these people they say. They attack it. Iran and will it are. Year after year, Estelin and other reporters like Jim Tucker are able to report on future events with stunning accuracy, all because they know the agenda of the Bilderberg Group. The Bilderberg Group sits at the top of the world power structure. 125 of the richest and most influential individuals on the globe make up its membership. From Istanbul, Turkey to Chantilly, Virginia, we have tracked the elusive Bilderberg Group. Bilderberg always insists on a media blackout. By June of 2008, we had already figured out that Barack Obama was the elite's puppet of choice. The national media claimed that during the weekend the Bilderberg Group was scheduled to meet, that Obama had speaking engagements set for Chicago and the Midwest. We knew better. In a classic bait-and-switch, the Obama campaign told the press corps to get on Obama's campaign plane and that Obama would join them on the flight to Chicago. Campaign staff then slammed the door shut. The fawning press had been shanghaied as Obama's campaign aircraft lifted off without Obama. Robert, why were we not told about this meeting and that the senator wouldn't be on our flight until the doors were shut and we were about to taxi to take off? Again, uh, 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 you know, uh, we had a desire, Senator Obama had a desire to do some meetings. Others had a desire to meet with him tonight in a private way. And that's what we're doing. And we set up these meetings. They're being they're being done tonight. Again, I, I'm. I, is there more than one meeting? Is there more than one person with whom? I'm meeting? not going to get into all the details of the meetings. I, I I I don't know that I've got a ton more different answers for all of your questions. Obama wasn't going to Chicago. He had a meeting to attend. A secret meeting. Initially, it was believed that the secret meeting took place at Clinton's Washington, D.C. home. Obama's spokesman denied that, but won't confirm where the former rivals met. He also declined to comment on their topics of discussion. For a day and a half, the mainstream media engaged in a wild goose chase, trying to find out where Hillary and Obama had gone. Three cover stories later, the corporate press had to admit they had no idea where the two candidates had gone. And to this day, Clinton and Obama aren't talking. Plenty of sources knew about this meeting, uh, told us and others that it was at Hillary Clinton's house, but clearly uh, it wasn't. In 2008, the trail led us to the Westfields Marriott Hotel, right outside Washington, D.C. We just flew into Washington, D.C. We're driving to the Westfields Marriott. Tomorrow the hotel's closed throughout the week into the weekend for the Bilderberg Group meeting. We're going to check in the night before. They're going to kick us out tomorrow. So we're going directly into the belly of the beast. The hotel will be filled with at least five spy agencies. CIA, Defense Intelligence, Mossad, uh, European Union Security. We checked into the Westfields Marriott 48 hours before hotel guests were scheduled to be thrown out ahead of the annual meeting. The building was nestled in the heart of the military industrial complex with the National Reconnaissance Office and Raytheon just a stone's throw away.
The plan tonight is to try to not get arrested, dodge the security, get in there, get some, some footage of the elite arriving in the morning because some arrive before they officially lock it down and then getting out of the building. Uh, that's our plan. I'm also going to be uh, getting a call by a uh, international uh, syndicated radio show, Coast to Coast AM with George Nori, and all week he's getting briefings from me every night uh, about things as they develop. George, we're sitting here in the room. As the phone rings with your producer, Tom Danheiser, to put me on, the fire alarm goes off. Uh, so everybody is exiting the building. I know this is a setup. They timed it exactly when this happened. Open the door. I want them to hear the fire alarm. Open the door. I want people to hear this live to the you know, 16 million people listening. George, do you hear that? Now, 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 they're going to use this as an excuse. The Westfield Marriott, right outside D.C. in Chantilly, they want to use this to flush us out of here. They're very upset. Everybody that covers Bilderberg, I was detained two years ago, interrogated, screamed at. They said Bilderberg was upset about me, wanted to stop us. Uh, this is guaranteed. Everywhere we go, we're followed. We have another hotel across town as a base of operations. They were there uh, questioning us, getting in our faces. We're being followed everywhere. I need everybody's support right now. I pray to God they don't try to set me up. They may have tried to concoct this as some way to say, you know, look, they didn't leave during a fire drill, assessing me knowing I would stay and do the interview. But again, the moment the phone rang with Tom Danheiser, uh, the moment the phone rang, the guys answered it, I'm standing there, the alarm goes off. Uh, it's going off right now. The guests are exiting the hotel out there. Of course there's no fire. Uh, this is just absolutely insane. I noticed, too, that there was... Over 100 security people here today, but tonight we got back and it was a total ghost town. And this is what's insane. We have a security guy walk up to us 30 minutes ago, about 25 minutes ago, before this happened and said, what are you guys doing? We said, we're just walking around checking out the artwork in the hotel, which we actually were admiring. But we were also going around getting some footage. And uh, you know, they said, well, no cameras allowed. We said, fine. And then he said, yeah, we had somebody do a fire alarm a few weeks ago. And me and Rob, my camera guy, were going, why is he telling us about a fire alarm? I forgot that part, George. These bastards have done this. I don't know how. They're planning to try to set us up or something, but this is incredible. We are here in the middle of this right now, George. Stay there. Keep it locked. Let's go. Let's get out of here now, Richard. Don't screw around anymore. We got out of here on exactly the right time. Is this the way out? Yeah. about what five turns and the six turns the same car's following us and uh, now he looks like he's following us into a he, he came out of Bilderberg he came out of the Westfield he's being a little bit subtle but not too so there he is that's him over there that in the blue green, car uh, yeah We're headed back to the Marriott here in Chantilly, Virginia, the scene of Bilderberg 2008. We successfully infiltrated the last day and a half inside, got out with some great stuff. We've been tailed, and uh, now we're going back to cover the dignitaries, the elitist, as they arrive. And right now is the prime time for them to start arriving for the next three or four hours. We took about a 30-minute break. I'm sure we missed a few, but it doesn't matter. Because we've got scores of people that just organically are listeners, info warriors that are out here taking action. Hey, Vanessa. 